When I was 11, I had the great fortune to be in the youth chorus for the Seattle Opera productions of Parsifal, Lohengrin, and Carmen. I had been taking piano lessons for a few years at that point, but the operas were the first time I was making music with other people. I loved every step of the process, from early rehearsals, learning how to pronounce words in French and German, to the first staging rehearsals with well-known directors, to the electrifying performances with the greatest opera divas of the time. Most importantly, everyone I met was kind, welcoming, and committed to artistic excellence. And I now strive to create and be a part of similar environments. For the first time, I knew that I wanted music to be a part of my life forever. I was about to start my freshman year of high school when I attended my first orchestra camp. I had been playing bassoon for only two weeks and was barely able to assemble it correctly. On the first day of camp, I played my first march on page three of my beginning bassoon method for the seating audition. To no one's surprise, I ended up last chair in the lowest orchestra with all the six-year-olds whose cellos were as small as normal violins. Despite my humiliation at my own incompetence, I quickly became grateful that I had been thrown into the deep end. Not only did I radically improve as a bassoonist during the camp, but I made lasting friendships with a variety of excellent musicians who welcomed me into the music community. Throughout my education and career, I've continued to seek out ways to throw myself into the deep end. I'm originally from Seattle and regularly sub on bassoon and contrabassoon with the Seattle Symphony. It's always a wonderful experience to play with my hometown orchestra, and such a world-class one at that, but there's one time that was particularly special to me. Towards the end of my doctoral coursework at Juilliard, I played a few rehearsals and performances of Bizet's opera Carmen, the same opera that I had sung in the youth chorus for 15 years earlier at the same opera company in Seattle. I walked in through the same doors that I had as a kid, going up to the orchestra pit instead of down to the dressing rooms, and I reconnected with the chorus master who had taught me so much about singing, musicality, and professionalism. Although these circumstances were partially just coincidence, this full circle experience was also a poignant reminder of my years of dedication to music and the moments that inspired me along the way.